Hello guys, Sanjay here and welcome back to a new video in which I'm going to show you guys how to install Android Oreo on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3. Yes, you heard me right, Android Oreo, Android O or Android 8.0.0 which was launched few days back on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3. This is not the official version, obviously. Redmi Note 3 may not even get Android Oreo but this is the ROM which is developed by another developer so huge thanks to that developer too. And before you decide to flash this ROM, let me tell you few things. The ROM is going to have few bugs as of August or as of September because this is an early build of the ROM. So do not expect the ROM to be extremely stable. Plus if you are having a doubt that when will this launch for your device, then I do not know. A developer needs to develop that ROM for your device and then I'll make a video about that device if I have that. But I'm going to consolidate all that data and put it on the website where I'll keep on updating whenever a new device gets the Android 8.0 or Android Oreo ROM, which will be linked in the description box below. If you want to enjoy Android Oreo and if you want to see all the new features which are present in Android Oreo, then do flash this ROM on the Redmi Note 3 or any other device which is linked in the description box below. First of all, you will need to have an unlocked bootloader and TWRP recovery on your device. If you do not have that, then do not worry, I have already made guides on that which will be linked in the description box below. If you have TWRP recovery installed, do not worry, just go ahead and switch off your device. Once the device is switched off, hold the volume up button and power button together until and unless you see the MI logo over here, once you see the MI logo, you can leave the buttons and the device will boot into the TWRP recovery. I'm excited about the Android Oreo ROM because uh, it is not released for OnePlus 1, OnePlus 2, OnePlus 3, OnePlus 3T, 5. Those devices are having very popular developers, but still it is released for Redmi Note 3, which is also very popular and huge thanks to the developer whoever developed this ROM, which I'm flashing in this video. If you're watching this video in October or November, then this ROM may not have bugs, Make sure to check the XTR thread which is linked in the description box below for all the bugs which are present in the ROM. If you want a bug free experience then stick to MIUI and no ROM will give you a total 100% bug free experience. But if you want to enjoy Android Oreo then go into backup and select swipe to backup over here. If you want to backup the current ROM which you are on, I want to backup the MIUI 8 because my mom is using this device and she doesn't want to lose any of her data. The backup process has completed. So let's go back, let's go back, let's go back. Go into wipe, select swipe to factory reset over here. And MIUI 9 ROM for the Redmi Note 3 is released too, which you can flash by the exact same method which I'm showing right now. So now we need to go into install and select the Android Oreo ROM. If you want to flash the MIUI 9 ROM, then instead of selecting the Android Oreo ROM, select the MIUI 9 ROM which will be linked in the description box below and select swipe to confirm flash over here. If you flash the MIUI 9 ROM, then obviously your system will boot into MIUI 9. Uh, if you flash the Android Oreo ROM, then it will boot into the Android Oreo ROM. I'll give a link of a MIUI 9 ROM which is based on Android 7.0 which is developed by another developer in the description box below. If you want to flash that, then you can flash that too. So the ROM installation has completed. Let's go back. Let's go back, going to reboot and going to system over here. Select do not install over here. We are not going to flash the G apps package with this ROM because the ROM which I'm flashing does not require us to flash G apps. That's pre-included in the ROM package. But if you're flashing a different ROM, then you may require to flash G apps package. So do check the XDA thread link which will be given in the description box below. As I said earlier and as I'm mentioning this multiple times, do check the XDA thread for bugs and how to install guide and do you need to install G apps package or not. Do check XDA thread for that. Now we are getting a Google logo over here. That's a nice thing. Let's wait for the system to boot. So finally the Android Oreo ROM has booted. So let's press on let's go set up as new. Unlock with fingerprint. Let's add a fingerprint over here. Ah, okay, let's go with P because that's the one which I, which I like. Let's start and let me add my fingerprint over here and I'll show you guys that fingerprint sensor is working totally fine on this one too. So we have the pixel launcher over here. Let's go into settings. Let's go into system, then go into about phone and you can see Android version is Android version, version Android version is 8.0.0 that means Android Oreo. If I long press on this, we'll get the octopus thing over here. Uh, if you are wondering why do we have octopus when the name is Oreo, let me just uh, disable brightness. How do I do that? I'll have to go into settings for that. Oh my God. 
I, if you want to disable auto brightness then going to display then you can disable auto brightness from over here brightness level can be adjusted okay this much is good if you are wondering why do we have octopus over here instead of oreo biscuit then that's because octopus has eight legs and this is android version 8.0.0 that's the logic which i am using and i guess that's the correct logic so let me just count one two three four five six seven eight okay yeah eight eight legs that's why it is octopus on the android oreo rom i do not have anything to show as of now but uh, if we go into system you can see the system ui tuner is over here you can change multiple things on status bar this is of the normal quick settings toggle looks and if we expand that you will get multiple things over here earlier we had these uh, edit buttons and settings button above this quick settings toggle but now we uh, have all these over here this can be changed Plus, there are multiple other things which are incorporated in the Android Oreo ROM. I'll be making a separate video about all the Android Oreo features which are present in Android Oreo ROM and any other Android Oreo device which will launch in the future. If I have already made that video, then I'll give the link of that in the i button over here. So click on that and watch that video if I have made that video. And I guess that's much it for the installation guide of the Android Oreo ROM on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. If you have any more doubts, suggestions or queries regarding this video or regarding this ROM, then do let me know about that in the comment section box below. As I said multiple times, check the XTA thread which is linked in the description box below. Plus I'll mention the bugs which are present in the ROM in the description box below too. So do check that. And uh, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for watching.